first one, Spirit Black Dragon. My motorcycle club wants me to ride my motorcycle everywhere I go. Two letters. First one, Dear Black Dragon, my motorcycle club wants me to ride my motorcycle everywhere I go, but I have a problem. My motorcycle is my only means of transportation, therefore I have to ride it to work. And if I get seen in my colors on my way to or from work, or if I wear my cut to work, I will be fired. So you can see I'm in a bit of a situation. Do you have any suggestions? Letter two. You are a fake as food! President of bullshit! You claim to ride for a club, but did a video not wearing your cut! You fake ass bitch! So you are the national president of what? You had videos of you with no cut? When you ride for a club, always cut on! You are the full of shit! You fake ass YouTube bike it! You fake ass YouTube bike it. Well, maybe in his anger, he meant fake ass YouTube biker. Which could be so. But today's video, we're gonna talk about five reasons, oh, excuse me, ten reasons. When you don't wear your cut while riding your motorcycle. Nothing tops your cut. Nothing tops your cut. Nothing tops your cut. Into the Black Dragon and listen to his knowledge This is Biker 101 and he's professor to the college Posting up videos on YouTube, coming directly to you Showing you the ins and outs of what not to do Listen, you can be fanatical about anything You can be fanatical about religion You can be fanatical about time You can be fanatical about food You can be fanatical about MC Protocol Hell, Terry Seinfeld even had a soup Nazi who is fanatical about a soup line. But fanaticism does not equate to reality. Just because you're a fanatic about something doesn't make it necessarily true or right, the things that are in your mind. And there are some motorcycle clubs that have taken a fanatical stance about when and how you should wear your colors whenever you're on your motorcycle. And for some clubs and some organizations, that's okay. But if you're a 99 percenter, in my experience, and what we practice is, you wear your colors, you wear your cut, when it is appropriate. So, there's a few things to think about here. I mean, when you really think about it, I'll give you 10 reasons why you might not want to wear your cut, or we might not want you to wear your cut, when you're riding your motorcycle. Reason number one, when you are on your job or on your way from work or to work. So let's face it, if your job is not being in the MC and the MC is not paying your bills, how on earth, how in the hell can they require you to wear your cut to a place where you might get fired? It does no good for the MC for you to be fired. No, no money, no dues. So think about this. Keep it real. If you need your job and you know your job ain't going to tolerate you showing up and something like that, don't do it. It don't make no darn sense. Does it? Two. When you're traveling in a territory, you have not received a pass to fly your colors. So this is one time you would be on your motorcycle without your cut. A lot of you guys are starting to get up and ride cross country and ride into new territories and uh, maybe go on vacation to this place or that place and you like to take your motorcycle or you're going to rent a motorcycle when you get there, you plan to wear your cut. Well, if you're going to be in a town for a few days and you think you're going to run around in a brand new cut and you haven't called ahead to get some sort of territorial blessing, you could be in for a rude awakening, like having your cut taken off you being surrounded by some folks that aren't so happy that you haven't let them know you're visiting. That would be one time you might not want to wear your cut while riding your motorcycle. Number three, when you are in a war zone, 
and you're not traveling with three or more brothers. Being in a war zone or your club being at war can put you in a situation where you might not ride your cut when you're riding by yourself. If you have three or more brothers, it might be okay. But if you don't, that might be one time to think about not wearing your colors or your cut while riding your motorcycle. Number four, and I say this with all love and sincerity, brothers, but if you are breaking the law, selling drugs, robbing banks, or committing murder, and using your motorcycle as an escape vehicle, this is one time when I and the rest of the MC would kindly have you not wear your colors if you don't mind. Number five, when you are taking part in some kind of a political demonstration or a political statement that does not represent the club or the club has not sanctioned you to attend, you might not want to wear your cut. Such as if you're going to attend a KKK rally in our colors or a Black Lives Matter rally or some sort of violent march or mob violence. These are times where we would kindly ask you to put your cut in your saddlebags and you go represent you. Number six, during any kind of flash mob biker event, this thing that has kind of taken place over the last several years, this flash mob biker event that could turn ugly and your colors could be featured on CNN and Fox News during some kind of melee, like an Asian couple that got beaten up in New York City in broad daylight surrounded by thousands of bikers in 20, what was it, 2015? And oh yes, a few brothers in full patches beating out the windows of those poor folks' car. That is a media nightmare we don't need. So if you're gonna participate in something like that, kindly not wear your colors while you're on your motorcycle. Number seven, when running from law enforcement, stunning on the highway, racing illegally, or making an ass out of yourself in general in public, while wearing our colors on your motorcycle. That would be one time we wouldn't want you to wear your cut while riding your motorcycle. Number eight, when going to court, if you want to win your case. Number nine, while riding drunk or high on your motorcycle. We don't need you riding drunk and high or drunk or high or drunk and high and hurting someone or getting killed or getting arrested while wearing our cut. If you feel like that's something you need to do, take your cut off before you get on that motorcycle. And number 10, anytime you feel it is inappropriate, like if you have a YouTube channel and you are making a video that doesn't represent or speak for the club, that might be a time when you want to ride your motorcycle without wearing your cut. Well, I'm Black Dragon. That's my two cents. We sure appreciate you. Be sure to get my books. You can get them on Amazon or Kindle. You can get Prospects Bible, Prospects Bible for Women's Motorcycle Clubs, the Sergeant at Arms Bible, and the Public Relations Officers Bible. Those books are available for you and soon to come the President's Bible. Thank you for tuning in. Get skinny.